Find the equations of the tangent line, the circle, x squared plus y squared equals 1, and passing to the point 4, 7. Well, obviously, we have here a unit circle, radius 1, center at the origin, and passing through an external point 4, 7. So, if we're going to sketch the graph of the circle and at the point, uh, we have this one. Okay, so again, this is the external point. 4, 7. Suppose this is the unit circle and as you can see, center at the origin. And we are looking for the equations of these two tangent lines. See that? Okay, so since we're looking for the equation of the tangent lines, it's either we get the slope of the line or another point. So since the mention um, tangent lines, so maybe we will focus on the point of tangent C and let's label this as let's say point A coordinates let's say x sub 1 y sub 1 and then another point of tangent C here let's say point B so coordinates nyan x sub 2 y sub 2 there you go and okay locate ko lang in center let's say 0 0 there you go. So, what I'm going to do here is to connect. Okay. Connect to yung lines. Uh, yung line PC. Okay. Which uh, C and P as the endpoints. Okay. C is the center of P is the external point. There you go. Now, also, na mentions a problem. So, since tangent yan, we know the fact that the radius is perpendicular to the tangent line. As shown. Okay, again, radius 1. Okay, there you go. Okay, so what we can compute here actually, so makukuha, na, makukuha natin yung CP, yung length ng CP, which is uh, square root of 4 minus 0 squared plus 7 minus 0 squared. Right? And that is square root of 16 plus 4 is 9, which is square root of 65. Okay, again, this is square root of 65. And by Pythagorean theorem, so since I have square root of 65, 1 yan, so by Pythagorean theorem, yung AP ko is simply uh, square root of uh, CP squared plus uh, AC squared, which is square root of 64, or simply Eight. Okay, so the length of this one is 8. So, since 8 yan, I can get, I can create, make an equation. Okay, this, since given yung distance ni AP. So, that is yung 8 squared, that's equal to x minus 4 squared plus uh, y minus 7 squared. Okay, or simplifying this one, so I'm going to have 64. This one is x squared minus 8x plus 16 plus y squared minus 14y plus 49. Okay, ayusin ko lang. I'm going to have x squared plus y squared minus 8x minus 14y. So, equals, so since 64 yan, ito we know that this is 65. So, I'm going to have negative 1 here. See that? Okay, so next, let me rewrite it again here. So, x squared plus y squared uh, minus 8 minus 14. Okay, equals negative 1. So, what I'm going to do here is that, so solve ko to simultaneously with the equation of the circle. So, that you can get rid of the quadratic terms. See that? Okay, so, so subtract ko yan. Okay, subtract natin. Okay, so we're going to end up with a uh, cancel ta, right? Uh, cancel yung quadratic term, so we're going to end up with um, negative 8x, okay, negative 8x minus 14y equals negative 2. Or dividing both sides by negative 2, so I'm going to have uh, 4x plus 7y equals 1. There you go. So now, the next is, 
Uh, remember, ang target natin is to get the value of x and y. So, that we can get the coordinates, we can simply get the equation. For us to do that, so we have to solve x in terms of y or y in terms of x. So, in this case, let me allow, well, let me solve for x. So, that will give me 1 minus 7y over 4. And what I'm going to do with this equation or expression, substitute ko to dito sa equation ng unit circle. That is, instead na x squared, so I'm going to have 1 minus 7y over 4 squared. And you know, okay, plus y squared equals 1. Then that's it. Expand ko na lang to. So that will be 1 minus 14y plus 49y squared. Okay, over 16 plus y squared equals 1. Medyo mahaba lang. Okay, combining like terms, I'm going to have 1 minus 14y plus 49 plus 16. So, magiging 65y squared equals 16. And, equate, equating it to 0, so I'm going to have 65y squared minus 14y minus 15 equals 0. There you go. The good thing about this one is that factorable to guys. Okay, factorable yan. Okay. So, meaning to say, 65 factors na 13 and 5, definitely. Both primes. Okay, so yung isa 3, yung isa 5. So, this is 25, this is 39, so ma-minus yun. So, that is uh, negative to. Ito yung positive. See that? So, therefore, okay, uh, you get to have two values of y. Okay, uh, delete ito. Wait lang. Okay, so two values of y. One is negative three pips. Okay, let's say this one. And then negative three pips. Oh, three pips pala. Sorry, positive three pips. Okay. Then the other one is negative 5 over 13. So, ito yun. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. So, that is 3 pips. Ito pala yun. Sorry. So, this is 3 pips. Yung isa, negative 5 over 13. There you go. See that? And then, ito yung point four seven. We are almost there. Kailangan ko lang makuha ko ni Absisa and then that's it. Get the slope and then point slope form. Okay. So, paano ko kunin yung Absisa? Again, babalik tayo dito sa equation na to. Okay. So, that is uh, x equals 1 minus 7 times y. So, let's say negative 5 over 13 muna. Over 4. Okay, so that is, this one will become 13 plus 35, that will be 48 over 13 times 4, in which, makakancel yung 4, tama? So that will give me x equals 12 over 13. There you go, so 12 over 13 is this. Okay, so I already have the abscissa, kompleto na yung two points ko, we can simply get the equation. So the easiest way to do this is, of course, kunin ko yung slope. Okay, kunin natin yung slope na to. That is, 7 minus negative 5 over 13, kaya magiging plus yan. Okay, all over uh, 4 minus 12 over 13. Okay, so this one will become uh, 91 plus 5, so 96 over 13. This one will become 52 minus 12, 40 over 13. So, pinansal ko na yung 1 over 13, kaya 96 over 40 na lang. And simplifying this one, so yung slope na to is uh, divided by 8, 12 over 5. There you go. So, since may slope na ako, I'll use either of the two parts. Siyempre, mas, mas madali kung 4, 7 yung gagamitin natin. So, the equation of the line here will be, will be y minus 7 equals 12 over 5 times x minus 4. And simplifying this, I'm going to have, which is what we're looking for, 12x minus 5y 
minus 13 equals 0. So, this is the first equation. Ito yun. Okay, next. Next. So, kabila naman. So, again, this is 4, 7. So, meron ako dito is 3, 3, 5. 3 fifths. Okay, 3 fifths yung ordinate. So, kailangan ko na lang si Absisa. So, again, so like what we did here, so substitute ko yung 3 fifths dito. Okay. So, that is x equals 1 minus 7 times 3 fifths all over 4. Okay. So, this one will become 5 minus 21. That will be negative 16 over 20. Or, ang x region is negative 4 over 5. See that? So, negative 4 over 5. So, again, like what we did here. So, kompleto na. May absisa ka na. Okay, you can get the slope. Okay, so ang slope na to will become 7 minus 3 pips over 4 plus, 4 minus negative 4 pips, so 4 plus 4 pips yan. So eventually, makakancel yung 1 pips, so I'm going to have 20, 35 minus 3, that's 32. Okay, this over 5, so this is 24 over 5, so like I said, nakancel ang 1 pip, kaya 32 over 24 na lang. So divisible ng 8 yan. So, ang slope ko dito is 4 thirds. Very good. So, yun na. So, y minus 7 equals the slope 4 thirds times x minus 4. So, simplifying this one, so I'm going to have 4x minus 3y plus 5 equals 0. So, this is the second equation of the tangent lines that we're looking for. Let's fit. Ito na. So, these are the two answers. Okay.